Hi guys and welcome back. Today I just want to simply look at controlling the current through a MOSFET using the Arduino PWM and I want to vary the number of steps in the PWM and I would like to control it just using a couple of push button switches as you see in my benchtop setup in the picture. Okay, so let's get started and take a look at how you do this. take a look at the circuit we'll, that we'll use today. So the PWM signal will be provided by an Arduino Uno and we'll control the duration of the PWM with these up and down buttons and the PWM signal will come out of data pin 9 and it will come into this resistor capacitor combination here which is essentially an integrator or a filter which turns the square or rectangular wave PWM signal into a DC level. This resistor here is just to pull the gate down to ground when there's no signal on the gate so that the transistor shuts off. I've chosen a logic level transistor for this. It's an IRL540N, so the L means that it's logic level. I'm not sure if it'll work with other kinds, but in this case the specification says that the transistor turns on around 1 to 2 volts DC. I'll have an amp meter in series so that I can see the current. And up here I have a variable supply, I've set this to 6 volts, and it's capable of delivering 0 to 3 amps. And I'm just using 6 volts because I don't want to put too much energy into the transistor as I only have a small heatsink. I'll provide the code and an explanation of how it works a little bit later on, and I'll also provide the code and the, and the circuit diagram in the associated instructable. Let's take a really quick, quick look at the code. Up here we define the buttons for controlling the PWM and we'll use the internal pull-up for those. This block of code here sets up the PWM and I confess that I don't know this really well, I just sort of look up how to do it. Essentially we're going to control this compare register OCR1A here. So the value of this register controls the width of our PWM signal. Right now I've got it preset to 3240 so I have determined that this is the PWM level just below where the MOSFET starts to turn on and this level can vary as I have it set here from 0 to 8191. So setting ICR1 to 8191 sets the number of PWM steps. So here with 13-bit operation we can have 8191 individual steps. And this setting also uh, sets the frequency that you're operating at. So with a setting of 8191 we'll be operating at a frequency of about 1.95 kilohertz and by the way that's what I use to determine the value of the RC filter in the circuit by really experimentation. So be aware that if you use more or less steps here that you will be changing the frequency of operation and you may need to change the values of the capacitor and the resistor and the filter. And it's fairly easy to determine what works with an oscilloscope and a couple of different values of capacitor and resistor. Down here we have a very simple loop which just reads the state of the buttons and if we're pressing the up switch it increments this register upwards and down switch it increments it downwards and I'll also feed it out to the serial monitor. So I'll show you that in operation shortly. I'll start by showing you the varying of the PWM signal. I'm going to attach one scope probe to the output of the Arduino and the other one to the output of the filter. So here it is on the scope. The rectangular wave that you see is the output from the Arduino and the slowly rising flat line is the DC level. So as the PWM pulse width increases 
the DC voltage on the gate of the transistor slowly increases. As we decrease the pulse width, the DC level falls. So the DC level and the drive on the gate of the transistor are directly proportional to the pulse width. Here you can see that our PWM signal is about 1.95 kHz. Starting in the level just below transistor turn on, I'm pressing the button to increase the PWM width, and you can start to see a few tens of milliamps showing up on the amp meter. Let's take a quick look at this on the Arduino serial monitor. Here we can see the OCR1A level rapidly increasing as I press the button, and this increases the PWM width and the current through the transistor. With a PWM level of 7050, I have two amps going through the transistor, and I'm measuring about 3.9 volts on the gate, and I don't want to push it much further than this, because I don't have a very big heatsink on the transistor. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something new. And if you did, please like and subscribe on YouTube and Instructables. See you in the next one. Bye for now.